Hello, this is Princess Sheldon. I hope everyone is too blessed to be stressed. And the poem I want to share, I wrote it February 12, 2012, and it's about Whitney Houston. Whitney was born August the 9th, 1963, and she passed February the 11th, 2012. I shared this poem on the anniversary of her death. I just wanted to share it again on the anniversary of her birth. And it's called Whitney. And it goes like this. It's so sad that Satan won the battle against Whitney. The world would not have known, but it could have been me. She tried to put up a good fight when attacked by the enemy. I can't believe from Satan's grip she could not break free. I wish she could have conquered the demons within. I prayed for her to have victory over them and to win. It was so disturbing to see her on that drug roller coaster ride. It's tragic that she could not stay strong and turn to Elohim and not backslide. When I wanted to be a singer, I was so inspired by her voice. Out of all the female singers of her era, she was the number one choice. She captured the hearts of the world with the song, I Will Always Love You. She was a class act, a great singer, and a great actress, too. Whitney sang the Star Spangled Banner like no one else could. To that song, she brought her special style like everyone knew she would. She was often in the bodyguard, waiting to excel in the preacher's wife. I so hoped to Elohim she would surrender her gifts and her life. To the world of film and music, she gave so much. I mourn the loss of her life and her golden touch. Her personality had a sweet and fiery spark. In this world, she made an unerasable mark. For her fans, she invoked tremendous admiration in the greatest love. And in comparison to her competition, she was always far above. Whitney will be missed and mourned by millions near and far. She was truly a gifted, beautiful, and loved superstar. Have a blessed one.